For this video, we're going over how Rules Manager can be used in developing GUI-based quick data entry functionality inside of Maxima. The first thing we'll do is log into Maxima and go to the work order tracking application. Once there, you'll notice a button on the screen called Quick Insert. Pressing that button will open the work order tracking main page and bring up a wizard-like dialog for the users to enter their data. First we'll fill in the description and press Next. Then we'll choose a work type and hit Next. Now we'll set the priority and hit Next. Next, I'll select an asset, a pump, which is located in the garage, and then press Next. Notice that in this case, the location has already been set by Maximo, so we'll just press Next. Lastly, since the asset is classified as a pump, we'll just select a problem code and click OK. From there, we'll see our record has been populated with the fields we selected. Notice the asset and location have been filled in, as well as the work type, failure class, problem code, and priority. This functionality eases the process of creating records in Maxmo as well as helps to ensure data integrity and end user acceptance. Now we'll take a look at some of the rules that support this functionality. First, inside the App Developer Perspective in Rules Manager Studio, we'll make a connection to the server. From there, we'll double click on the WOTRAC application to open the rule editor and view the rules. One of the first rules we'll look at is the rule that fires when the Quick Insert button is selected. Opening up the associated action, you'll see that when the button is pressed, we leverage Rules Manager's ability to make a call directly to the browser to create a record in the WOTRAC application and set the work order's WO dialog field to 100. The reason we set the field to 100 is that there is a rule on the WO dialog field which says when that field is changed to 100, we'll actually open the dialog. Looking at the rule, you'll see that we reset the WO dialog field to zero and make a browser call to actually open it. Going back to the app developer and clicking on dialog rules, we can view the dialog and its associated rules. Selecting the quick insert dialog from the list will open it in the editor. Looking at the dialog, we'll see all of the fields and buttons our GUI contains. First, we'll peek at the rule that fires when the next button is pressed. Double-clicking the rule will open the editor, and from there we'll see that we increment the WO dialog field when it is pressed and the value is less than 5. Similarly, pressing the previous button decrements that field's value. Using the WO dialog field, we determine what data to display on the screen. For example, looking at the rule that fires for the priority field, we'll see that the control is hidden unless the WO dialog field is 2, then it is displayed. We also created rules on the previous and next fields to hide them accordingly when at the beginning or the end of the list. As you can see, we hide the next button when the WO dialog field is greater than or equal to 5. Now, looking at the dialog inside of Maxmo with a little more understanding, we'll see further how it works. Notice initially the previous button isn't displayed since the WO dialog field was set to zero when the dialog was opened. After pressing next, since the WO dialog value was incremented, the previous button is displayed. 
Setting some values and looking further into it, we can see how the user can move back and forth in the wizard to view the data they entered. Lastly, we'll notice that the next button is not displayed on the final screen since the user cannot go any further in the wizard. As you can see, leveraging Rules Manager functionality can facilitate and enhance the end user experience and make Maximo simple.